do the yeah. during the bye week. We normally practice the, the Georgia Tech practices and the Southern practices, and I missed that because my injury. And uh, it definitely um, was good seeing that, seeing that offense, and remembering how to play against it. And because uh, it definitely is a huge, huge advantage for coming into this game. Because I mean, no, nobody practices triple options multiple times throughout the season. And I mean, it just helps out so much getting that uh, extra work early. Jordan, now, this of these guys last year for the first time meeting you guys experienced, I guess, and living with it for a year. Does that kind of give you an appreciation for how good, Patrick. big good. this how intense this robbery is? Yeah, I definitely, uh, definitely agree with that. I mean, it's just, I, I mean, I, since I've been playing, I never lost things until last season. It's just, a, it was a different feeling, and uh, it wasn't something I was used to, and uh, you really just, really uh, appreciate just the, not appreciate, but I mean, you just really understand how important this win is after, after you felt the, the loss to, uh, to Georgia Tech. How much did you hear about it in the last 12 months? Uh, I got I blanked it out of mind. I heard a lot about it in January and then all of the preseason hype when uh, one of my teammates in high school was also in Georgia Tech, Quan Marshall. And he never let me uh, hear the end of the end of the <laughs> I mean, just leaving the preseason hype with all the Georgia Tech this, Georgia Tech that. I mean, initially it was I was getting a lot of uh, a lot of heat from uh, about that. Yeah, but so I always talk about how many rivals Georgia has: Auburn, Tennessee, Florida. This one, where would this one rank? Do you think? Yeah, around it. Uh, after the way last season went and having uh, one of my teammates there, yeah, I definitely rank it pretty high because I always want to get bragging rights over him in high school. Was, I never got to really hit him because he was our quarterback, and, and now he's a uh, B back or whatever back they call it. Uh, he's definitely going to be interesting and uh, pretty fun playing against him. You have a favorite game this year, whether it was last Saturday night with the 13, or did you still like those five and a half TFLs you got in hand? Uh, I still like the five and a half advantage because I mean that was just, that was just a fun experience and it, one it wasn't cold and it was just a, <laughs> a different type of game. I don't think anybody would love playing a triple off shit and have that as one of their favorite games. The uh, similarities, differences between Georgia Southern triple option and Georgia Tech, what, what applies this week, what doesn't? Um, one of the biggest things that applies from last week to this week is just the focus on eye control. I mean, because Georgia Southern is similar to Texas, but they're not all, they're not all. Some of the things they do is totally backwards when Georgia Tech blocks, the way they block it. And But I mean, it still was good work getting, getting play against some of the cut blocks, getting to see some of the uh, reads that Georgia Tech will do this week. And, uh, I, I'd say it was, it was it was beneficial for us to play Southern last week. What do you think when, when they were able to get the big games? It, it, it seemed like Georgia Southern was you know, feast or famine they year a lot. Uh, yeah. What, when they got those big games, what, what did y'all do? I can tell you. That's definitely what it is. I control the coaching in on your assignment. And if, if it's your job to take a dive, take a dive, you got to take it 100% of the time. The one time you may jump out and make a tackle, you may think, oh, okay, I made the tackle last time, I can do it again. And that's one of the, one, that's one of the times that they hit you big. How much of it?